15-year-old Janie Johnson, or so she thinks she is, is having a regular school day when she takes a life-changing sip out of a school milk carton in the cafeteria. She recalls the picture on the back underneath the bold letters stating missing as herself. She begins to have faded flashbacks about her real family and events that occurred when Janie was a baby. Janie remembers the little dress and the bright red hair at the mall. At the mall, Janie remembers going shoe shopping and being fed ice cream by a total stranger. Janie Johnson begins to wonder, had she really been the victim of a kidnapping that took place in New Jersey 12 years ago when she was just three years old? Janie asked her parents to let her see her birth certificate, but they kept coming up with excuses. Janie tries to keep from her parents that she suspects they are not her real mother and father, and she believes they were the ones to kidnap little Janie from her real parents at the mall in New Jersey. Janie falls in love with her next door neighbor, Reeve Shields. They together begin to piece the giant jigsaw puzzle into one shocking story. Janie discovers most of her mother's childhood hidden away in a locked box in the house attic. After rummaging in the box for a few minutes, she finds the black and white polka dotted dress in the photo that was displayed on the back of the milk carton. Janie would often make visits to the public library to research more about this. What does this mean? Was her mother kidnapped? Was it her mother that kidnapped her? Janie was only three years old when she was kidnapped in the shopping mall in New Jersey by Hannah, the daughter of the fake parents she was living with. Most of her life, she was clueless. When Janie finds out about the people that she had been living with since she was a child, really are not her birth parents, she starts to panic and does not know what to do. In the end, Janie contacts her real mother and father by a phone call. Janie Johnson, or now Jenny Spring, talks to what it might have been her real mother and father for the first time in a long time. The book itself ends there, but the story does not. It continues as a series. Caroline B. Cooney was born on May 10, 1947, in Geneva, New York, and grew up in Greenwich, Connecticut. She currently lives in Westbrook, Connecticut. Cooney began writing in college and loves it. She often likes to leave her readers hanging in suspense at the end of her stories. Cooney enjoyed learning in school. Caroline B. Cooney has had experience with other challenged books. One of her books was challenged because of the bad influence of a certain religion. Cooney enjoys visiting schools to talk about her books with kids. kids. Caroline Cooney has three kids of her own. I think The Face on the Milk Carton was challenged because of its irregular plot and the bad influence on the kids in the part of the story where Hannah kidnapped Janie. It isn't every day a child gets kidnapped and brought to the kidnapper's parents to live the rest of the life with his or her with them. I don't think this book should be banned because I couldn't find any reason this book might have seemed wrong for other people. I don't think that any book should be able to be banned from any library. People have the right to read whatever they want to read, whenever they want to read, wherever they want to read it. No book should be able to be banned. If people don't want their child reading a certain book, they shouldn't just they should just tell their kids not to read that book. I don't think the book The Face on the Mill Carton should be banned. I thought it was very good and I don't know why anybody would ban the book. I think everyone should be able to read whatever they want to read and have the opportunity to read this book. Students shouldn't be restricted from what other people believe to be wrong for them. They have to learn for themselves what they think is right and what they think is wrong. Libraries should, not, should have a wide variety for everyone, including this book and others banned for, from libraries for everyone to enjoy. Both students and adults have their rights to read whatever. Banning and censoring books is wrong and should be considered as a crime. People banning books are not only snatching books away, but they are also robbing freedom to read from innocent people.